Hello, gentle peeps. So this name is Jack Lacey. I'm here with Gentle Peeps Carry Studios, and today we're gonna to do a bit of product review on this Mac Trim camera tripod, model CT62 Mac Trim tripod. So the great thing about this tripod, I'm gonna switch the camera around to show you a few things. So bear with me. Okay, so on this tripod, it has a bubble leveler right here, and it has a bubble leveler here on the side so if you need that for any reason for leveling uh, it's great also has this tilt right here keeps it where you can where you can tilt and there's two different tilt options there's this option and this option so you kind of have to loosen them both and tighten them up kind of where you want them at get your bubble level level Anyway, the two different tilt ones, and the reason why that is is if you want to do side shots where it's tilted, and you want to tighten up this one and then this one. If you're doing like different kinds of shots with your cameras tilted, and then this one right here does the panoramic. So if you want to do a panoramic, move them around with a steady, steady flow, or you tighten it down wherever you want your camera at, and it won't move. Uh, some other great things about this one is is this pull out leg deal. So on how far you want it out you snap that down put it push it down and then it stops the leg so you get steady and it just pops out move it in so you pop out you go out as far as you want all three legs you do the same thing push it in you get it ready and that keeps you a steady base it also has pop out leg parts here Pull this to make it taller that's gonna work also so I'm gonna make it a little taller so I can have to bend down okay so I extended out two more legs as you can see again all your adapters up here and we're gonna show you something really cool so while you're working with shooting photography out in the wherever you go you can actually hang your your bag right there and what that does it helps keep it weighted down so if it gets hit it's not so not as more steady helps weigh it down but also keeps all your stuff that way you can do your photography and not have to worry about holding your bag at the same time all right so when you get ready you put this little adapter in the bottom it clicks in here and you can slide that onto the railing it's, it's kind of hard to do with my hang on okay that was that was kind of hard to do with one hand but anyway this is what loosens it up to get that on there and then you tighten this down and again do our premium so we can turn this to that panoramic come around so you can set up your camera and not have any blur or filter movements when you're shooting your you turn that and stop it so now it's all good and steady so when you're taking your photos and especially if you're using a, a remote you're gonna have a good steady shot um, it also comes with this right here and again this is good for iPhones or any type of phone you're using, you can mount that and use your phone instead. Now you make sure you keep it good and weighted. Uh, keep it good and weighted down here with your bag if you want to make sure nobody bumps into it. Because especially if you get something heavier, like this 70, 30, uh, 70, 300 millimeter camera I have, or excuse me, lens. My 70, 300 millimeter lens. Um, it's going to make this a lot heavier. So you're gonna to have to have something to kind of help weight down the thing so it's not gonna tip over. So make sure that you, that's also weighted for any kind of use for your cameras. And like I said, you, most of your cameras, even my even my power shot has a little screw in the bottom, same kind of thing. It's gonna hook in there and, and do the same type of, of uh, situation. Okay, I wanna show you a few more things. I really just had to get the, the, the both hands available. Um, Again, when you have this all set up, you can, I'm gonna loosen this up, take my camera off real quick. Gotta put that, unscrew that, take the camera off and on. Now what you can do, if you want to, is you take this right here, you loosen it up, and you, what you gotta unscrew this part right here where the bag holder was, Holding your, 
bag holder, stick that in your pocket. And you can turn this upside down and run it in here this way. Here. Oh, there's a little notch, so look for the little notch because it's like you're straightened up. Uh, what it does is it allows you to put your camera on the bottom to do micro shots of different things. So this ability right here, you just tighten the screw back up and you got it set, your camera here, and you can shorten your legs and do close up real still shots of plants and animals and different things, that, uh, bugs, whatever you like to photog do photography about. So again, we just turn this back over this way. Got to make sure that little thing's tightened up. I like it right here like this because then I can screw this back in and have a place to hang my bag so that way everything's weighted down. So there's that part. And then the next part is kind of cool. I'll take this back off again. About this, this camera system. Take this pole out. And you unscrew this one leg here. Sometimes you don't need the whole tripod, but you do want to keep your shot steady. So you screw this in like this and you have the one leg stand alone. And again, these pop out like that so you can scoop those back. Depending upon your height, it's a little, still a little too tall. Shoot down, that right there be a good height. So now I can walk and I can have my camera and I can hold it just steady just with the one, the one leg shot again it's just a one just an extra add-on it's pretty neat about this and really simple just to, to unscrew it get this leg back in make sure the leg can match the other ones again Lined up there. There we go. All hook back down again, and then you're all set back up. Just put your camera or your iPad or your iPhone or your phone of any sort uh, fits in there, and all your cameras. Again, I use the Canon M50, uh, and I use the Canon PowerShot 5558. Oh, I forget which one it is. The L540 HS, one of my favorites, and of course my Canon. M50, which I have with the starter kit lens on here, but I also have, as you saw, I have the 7300 7, millimeter lens. Now, with this one, just to let you know, unless you're using Canon M um, lenses, you can put them on there, but if you're using a regular Canon lenses, you're going to need this adapter. And so, I got this Bill Trox adapter, and I'll, I did a video on that. So, you're going to go back and watch the video on that. You can. It's my adapter for my Canon camera. That way I can hook up the 70 to 300 millimeter lens. Um, so check those all out below. I'll give a link in the description of this. This is the main product we're talking about today below. And then I'll also list my cameras and my lenses that I showed you and the adapter. Uh, so you can go check all those out. Um, the great thing is this all just folds back up. Um, little legs you just do that and just slip back down so when you get it all back together make it really simple to carry fits in this little bag right here. So you just carry this in your little bag with the other bag and when you're ready to start setting up, stick this bag in your other one where your camera was and you're good to go. Uh, again, appreciate you watching. Uh, check below for descriptions. Make sure you're liking, subscribing, and uh, we'll do more product reviews if we get it. I'm super excited about this. I think it's really gonna be a help my photography a lot. Thanks.